Tinibu shocked in a new video. We have evidence that Tinibu is not qualified. Breaking news. International community is shocked. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, I can boldly tell this for free that the battle to remove Tinibu from that particular uh, position is not yet over. I told you guys, if you've not watched my previous video, which I did yesterday, go and watch it for you to understand. And today, again, a lot of things have actually happened. You know, today, Atika Abubakar, being the uh, presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, held a a, 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 an international press conference to address the rascal and the rogue judgment that was given by the Supreme Court, led by Justice Yang Okoro, you know. And today, he said a lot of things, and he, he made mention of some important and salient points that Tinibu has been doing and all the crimes and criminality and all the illegalities and everything that Tinibu has been doing and how he has been deceiving Nigerians. And this is quite pathetic that some people know the truth but they don't want to speak the truth. The people that are supporting this criminal and APC government are just criminals. I can only tell you this for free. They know the truth. They know that this man in question has been known for uh, lying serially. How can someone go to the United States of America? Why applying to uh, why allegedly applying to gain admission? Because we're not even sure that he was the same person that had graduated from Chicago State University. Claimed that he attended government college in Lagos in 1970 when the school was not even uh, 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 created. But that is not just the only lie. Even before he contested for the governorship position in Lagos State in 1999, he has been lying serially that he attended government college in Ibadan, which has been proven to be lie. He has been lying serially, which he did that he attended University of Chicago, which is different from Chicago University, where he claimed he obtained BSc in economics. And all these have been proven to be false and lie. And people don't want to know that. And again, Atiko Abaka went and proved beyond reasonable doubt that this man submitted a false document to the Independent National Electoral Body in Nigeria. And people are still supporting this criminality and rascality, or because of religion, or because of tribalism, or because of political affiliation. And they don't know that whatever that is actually happening now is going to it's it's it's, it's serving as a precedent. I'm going to play a video for you to see how uh, 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 Atiku Abaka finished uh, this particular man being uh, Bolame Tinibu doing his international press conference. He said we have the evidence that Tinibu is not imminently qualified to vie for the presidential position. I'm going to play the video because for you guys to listen to what Atiku Abaka said, and I'm going to come back. We'll try to analyze every single thing that he said in this his press conference against Bolame Tinibu. What we are currently dealing with is bigger than one or two presidential elections and is certainly bigger than Atiku Abubakar. It is not about me. It is about our country, Nigeria, and your future. It is about the kind of society we want to live for the next generation and what kind of example we want to set for our children and their children. It is about the reputation of Nigeria and Nigerians in the eyes of the world. We showed incontrovertible evidence that Bola Edinibu was not qualified to contest the presidential election because he forged the qualifying academic certificate which he submitted to INEC. In fact, a simple check on Edinibu's past records in his possession would have shown INEC that Tinibu broke the law and should not have been allowed to contest the election in the first place. We show irrefutable evidence of gross irregularities, violence, and manipulations during the elections. Now from the video, you could hear what Atiku Abaka said, that they have incontrovertible evidence that this man, being Bola A. Tinibu, submitted a forged document to the Independent National Electoral Commission, that he is saying that this is not all about him. You know, we've been saying this here together, that this is not all about P2B or Atiku Abubaka. A lot of people supporting APC don't know that in subsequent time, that you, before you can even leave the shores of, the, of this country, you'll be scrutinized. And other nations will be seeing Nigeria as certificate forgers, as drug pushers, and identity theft and everything. Because this is the through the lenses of the president. If they, because like I've told you guys emphatically here, that if other nations want to, want, want to know more about Nigeria, they first of all brought about the president. Now imagine president about the president on Gogo and any, anywhere. The first thing you see, he was fined 460,000 US dollars because of his drug related activity. The next thing you see, he submitted a forged document to the independent national electoral body in his country. The next thing you see, uh, he lied uh, uh, that he attended government college in, in Lagos, which he never did. The next thing you see on his profile that he lied that he attended government college in, in Ibadan, which he never did. Everything about him is lying. And you think that when they look at the profile of this man, that the developed nations will be seeing us or probably will consider, will consider the citizens of this country. No. 
it will definitely affect the integrity, the reputation, and the dignity of this country and our citizens. And this is why Atika Baka said in that press conference, which you just listened, that this is not all about Atika Baka. It's not all about B2B. This is about the integrity of this country and how, how other nations are going to see us. Look at what USA did to Bolatini after the United Nations General Assembly, Onga, which held uh, recently in UK. Tidibu was supposed to meet Joe Biden, but because of uh, uh, intelligence uh, reports and everything, Joe Biden cancelled every meeting to meet Tidibu because he knows that this man is the same person that was fined 460000 which he forfeited. They found drug money in his account. This was a, a man who evaded tax and committed a whole lot of atrocities in the United States soil. They know him and they know his personality and they have his criminal records. They have all the criminal records against him. And this is what Nigerians are saying, that we can't have this man as the president. We can't have somebody who have this kind of uh, dirty image as the number one person representing the country. Now imagine FBI files are coming soon because FBI is about to release his files and his criminal records and everything that he did in the United States. So how will the international community see us after these files flies uh, everywhere in the internet space and in the public uh, domain? It is really, really pathetic. That is why we've been telling people that they should be careful whom, whom they vote. They should be careful whom they support. You can't support somebody that will, at the end of the day, you know, affect you negatively. And Tindibu is the person that I, I've started affecting Nigeria. The way international community will see us and the restrictions. Well, like I said, I'll keep on updating you guys because a lot of things are going to happen.